Have you ever wondered what it would be like to take a breath, to get away from the hustle of everyday life, even just for a moment? Sometimes we get so caught up in daily things, life can feel like going from one activity to the next, fueling anxiety and fear. At least that's what it's felt like for me. I am going to be meditating for 60 days. That's a lot. Meditation is a Eastern practice that has gone mainstream in today's world. It has a lot of benefits, and I'm going to be exploring the management side of that. I want to find out how meditation can help me become better at self-management and how that can make me a better coworker, a better friend, a better manager, if that ends up happening within this two-month time period. <laughs> There are a lot of benefits to meditation, including uh, clear thinking, you know, lower stress levels, uh, general feelings of more happiness. So why don't more people do it? Well, it's the most simple thing in the world, but it is hard. It is difficult to do. <laughs> I speak from experience. I have meditated before. Not very much. It's not a habit that I've kept up as much as I would like it to be. Um, but that's what this experiment is for. Uh, you all are my accountability partners. You are helping me to become a meditator. <laughs> this is my wall that I am using to keep track of all of my meditation times. This is today, September 20th. That is when we start. And after I meditate today, there will be an X on this wall. This is how you are keeping me accountable. How this process works is I'm going to start out with five minutes per day in meditation and gradually increase and let you all know my thoughts as this is happening. I'll also check in with some of my friends and see if they have noticed any changes. I don't have very high expectations right now. I don't think anything's gonna be super life-changing. I honestly don't know that much about technique um, or uh, how to do it other than sitting down and thinking about your breathing and that's about it. <laughs> so I will let you all in on any insights I get throughout uh, the next few days, few weeks, few months. First meditation was a little rough. <laughs> um, the first time I tried it, I could not even get through 30 seconds without having to get up to pee. So I still consider it a success though, because you know, I sat down, I did it. This is a learning process. I'm not gonna be a pro the first day, um, but it has shown me um, that I'm not as focused as I thought I was. I think of myself to be a little bit disciplined, a little bit focused as a person, but um, this has proved me very wrong. <laughs> First day is done. So one week check-in, so far so good. Um, out of all of the things I've learned about meditation this first week, I think back support is the number one. <laughs> I think you really need some good back support to be able to be sitting in the same place for a long period of time. That kind of makes sense, huh? <laughs> After my meditations, I do notice that I am a bit more, um, just in general, calmer a bit more focused on whatever task I have coming up next, which is about what I expected. Um, it doesn't end up lasting for like a super long time though. That's also something I've noticed. I think like once I stop meditating um, and kind of get back into my day, other things start to take over 
and you know my mind is back into that headspace that it was in before but week two i am starting on 10 minute meditations per day so maybe that'll help uh me a bit more throughout the day to feel more so in that calm meditative state we'll see Just finished week two of meditation, meaning I was meditating for 10 minutes a day. Um, so far, still going good. I missed a few days last week, but uh, we're gonna try again. We're shooting for six out of seven days this coming week. I'm gonna stick with the 10 minutes a day. So far, it's been going um, good. <laughs> it's been a little bit tougher at first just because uh, it feels a bit longer, but once I got used to it, um, I think it helped me a bit more than the five minute meditations, just because it wasn't in and out. You know, I sat here for 10 minutes to take everything in and it just gives me, I feel like I have more space to think or to not think, to try not to think uh, in 10 minutes, uh, more so than five, which makes sense. And I am excited to see how 15 minutes or even increasing more than that would affect this. Um, I think it would probably give me even more space to think, but it would also probably be more difficult. We'll find out. I just finished week three of meditation. I think the time has started to go by faster a little bit. It doesn't seem as drawn out as it first did when I started. I think that's probably just me getting used to sitting down, carving out this time in my day and uh, kind of just wading through it. Also, I've noticed how much my brain likes to focus on the next thing coming up and the next thing coming up and the next thing coming up rather than just kind of observing what's happening in the moment. Um, like even during that last meditation that I just did, I just recorded, I was thinking about making this video and I had to train myself, no, stop, don't do that. <laughs> it's a lot of training yourself just to be in the moment right now. And I have noticed that just during the day, whether I'm walking to class or driving, I've just noticed a little bit more of me taking the time to understand what I'm feeling in the moment rather than being in my head uh, and stressing about stuff in the future. Next week, we're gonna try going for 15 minutes. Meditating directly before an event that you might be late to is not a good idea. Oh my god, that last one was rough. It was real rough. I haven't done it in like a, a little over a week. This is definitely a practice. This is something you have to practice and get good at. But you know what? We're upping the intensity anyway this week. I'm going to be, uh, this week I'm going to be, uh, I can't even think right now. I am going to be meditating for 15 minutes a day, twice a day, so a total of 30 minutes, once in the morning and once at night. That was really confusing. Let me try that again. I'm going to be meditating twice per day for 15 minutes each, totaling 30 minutes. That sounds better. <laughs> It is now week seven out of the eight weeks that I'm doing this. I'm gonna do the same amount of time for 15 minutes twice a day. I'll bump it up even more 
next week. Uh, now I have to go study for a quiz in this class. Good luck, guys. This is week eight, and I am challenging myself to do an hour of meditation per day. Uh, great idea, Luke. <laughs> so I'm gonna be meditating uh, either twice per day for 30 minutes, uh, or more likely one time per day at an hour each interval. And that sounds really tough, but I'm gonna try it, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. The meditation I just did was not like any of the last ones. Um, but this was the first time I meditated for an hour. I figure I'll probably edit this in the video relatively soon after that clip. Um, and a few things changed. I think meditating and knowing that I'm gonna be doing it for an hour really forced me to um, come to terms with the fact that I'm going to be doing nothing but sitting with myself and it gave me a mental headspace that I have not felt like I've had in a really long time. Because this meditation was longer, I feel like I devoted um, a good chunk of my time to it and for some reason I just wasn't as stressed or uh, I didn't have as busy of thoughts as I usually do just because I kind of knew that I was going to be sitting with myself for an hour. Um, and one thing that also really helped was I got a notebook and I wrote down any thoughts that were just in my head and for some reason kept popping up. Um, and that genuinely like really helped me. Like during the first 10 minutes of that meditation, I wrote down like I was writing for at least half of it, and I know that's probably not the best meditation practice, but for the rest of the meditation, um, I didn't have nearly as many thoughts just like going, bouncing around my head because I had written them all down. You know, I think your brain is really good at uh, coming up with ideas, but it's not a place to store them, and when you try to do that, it just kind of keeps coming up like, don't forget this, don't forget this, don't forget this, and it just stresses you out even more. At least that's what I think. But that super helped me. And now I kind of have some realizations into my personal life that I didn't have before. This meditation also kind of helped me sort some things out in my head and realize what was taking up mental headspace that really didn't need to be. Last tip that I have for right now. Incense is really nice. <laughs> this is the first time I've used it. Um, so far, I know last week, best week. It's just one more way to get your senses involved and to be, uh, to stay in the present moment. So I'm back after eight weeks and I want to share what I learned. First off, meditation is hard. <laughs> I don't think that meditation uh, is necessarily for everyone, it's not everyone's bag, um, but it's worth a try. It really helped me over the last eight weeks to become more focused and uh, I guess not let little things bother me as much as they usually would have. It's a great way to de-stress. I know some people can also get the same de-stressing effect through any kind of activity that's just kind of turns your brain on autopilot. Whether it's running, swimming, uh, napping maybe. <laughs> the second thing I learned is that meditation brings clarity. It has really kind of, uh, in many aspects of my life, professional and personal, brought clarity to subjects that I had not yet understood. Things that I didn't even know that I was dealing with, things I didn't realize were bothering me as much as they were, uh, I kind of observed my thoughts while I was meditating. And this led me to a lot of realizations that made my life a lot less stressful, a lot uh, 
more free. I was able to have present conversations with people in my life that I needed to problem solve with. Uh, I know this is very vague, but ultimately meditation has led me to clarity on a lot of subjects in my life, just as a whole. The last thing that I learned is that meditation is absolutely huge. <laughs> it's such a wide topic. There are so many avenues to go down, so many different kinds of meditation, uh, which I didn't realize when I first went into this, but I am only scratching the surface. If you're interested in also starting meditating, mindful.org has uh, an amazing website for people looking to start. It's got meditation practices, how to do it, why to do it, um, other resources I would recommend. Uh, Nathaniel Drew on YouTube, his meditation videos, uh, specifically the one year of meditation recap, inspired me to start taking this journey and to see what benefits meditation had for myself. And lastly, Headspace is an app that you can use to uh, have guided meditations. And the meditations on there have been super helpful, better than any other ones that I found on YouTube. Uh, I very much enjoyed them. Sam has a very soothing voice. <laughs> Ultimately, if you take anything away from this video though, I hope you try this out for yourself because it's definitely changed my life in a lot of good ways. Like I said before, meditation isn't for everyone, but it might be for you. Uh, and my one biggest piece of advice is use back support.